So iOS 17 has just came out and the iPhone XR ended up getting iOS 17. So uh, let's go and do a comparison between iOS 17 iPhone XR and iOS 16 iPhone XR and see what the speed differences are between them. So they're both on the latest versions of iOS 17 available right now or 16. So let's get into it. iOS 17 is here, iOS 16 is here. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing, music, three, two, one. And I have been kind of noticing that iOS 17 is looking to be a little bit faster more times than not than iOS 16, which is very interesting to me. Hopping out of here, let's do App Store, three, two, one. So I don't know why I'm getting this random Wi-Fi thing on this one now. That's like the Wi-Fi is not working on the iOS 17 iPhones. Don't know why. It's like a random glitch. Photos, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, let's take a photo, three, two, one. About the same thing too, not that big of a difference. iOS 16 kind of looked a little bit glitchy when I hopped out of it. Clock, three, two, one. Roughly around the same thing. I don't know what I was timing. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's go and get into some of these other applications. Let's try, so I have these some of these bigger ones. Let's try Temple Run 2, three, two, one. Now, Temple Run 2 has random glitches and stuff that happen all the time, so hopefully you don't run into anyone. Okay, let's go and hop out of this one. And even here, I guess the gameplay would have been, or like the speeds would have been almost identical. So it doesn't look like there was that big of a difference between these two. So if we were to hit play, there'd probably be something else that would pop up. Let's do Subway Surfers, which we don't have here. We can try Snapchat, three, two, one. iOS 17 looked to be a little bit faster there. Genshin Impact, which we don't have here, that would have been really, really fun to do. We can try some of these stock ones, files, three, two, one. Okay. About the same thing, hopping out of here. Shortcuts, three, two, one. And kind of around the same thing too, not that big of a deal. Hopping out of here, let's try home, three, two, actually let's skip that. Let's do contacts, three, two, one. Okay, We're roughly around the same thing. Let's do stocks, three, two, one. And down kind of covers this one up. Let's try translate, three, two, one. Perfect, hopping out of here. Let's try utilities and let's go and try voice memos, three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing too. There's just, all these are basically the same thing. Calculator, three, two, one. So overall, what I'm kind of seeing is that we're kind of seeing almost exactly the same type of performance between both. I really don't think there's that big of a difference between iOS 16 and iOS 17 on the iPhone XR. But I did notice on the iPhone 11 that that iPhone kind of saw a bigger speed increase going from iOS 17 or going from iOS 16 to iOS 17. So if you're trying to go and upgrade your iPhone, you know, go for iOS 17 if you really want to. But I probably would recommend staying on iOS 16 for at least a couple more weeks and then upgrading after. But the choice is yours. You can kind of do whatever you want to. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.